and again guys the purpose of this kind of video is to show you especially the new or the beginning entrepreneur that you can do this on your own you don't need super expensive equipment you don't need all kind of crazy stuff there's no large overhead investment what you need is thirty dollars to put on a facebook ad and, and some balls and you'll be good to go what's up guys link back again dropping some more knowledge for future one percenters and other people trying to achieve financial freedom now you see the title of this video we're going to go over an infield project that i took care of last week i've said this before but i'm going to say it again i don't want this channel to just be theory you know i don't want to just be giving you guys methods and tactics that anybody can kind of say i want you guys to see that these methods are actually working in real time for me in my own business okay everything that i'm teaching you guys it works plain and simple it works and i'm showing you that it works and i'm showing you that all the stuff that i'm talking about is possible okay you don't have to be another cog in the wheel you can do your own thing and if you don't know what i'm talking about hit the subscribe button okay join this community of future one percenters okay and connect with some of these like-minded individuals all right everyone here is going to the top consult with each other share brains share ideas and we can get there a lot quicker now before we hop into the computer and go over this job i have to announce the winner of the free 30 minute consultation from last month congratulations to my man jim l drop a comment on this video or hit me up on my brand new instagram right here and we can get it popping man we can talk about whatever you want to talk about business fitness relationships it don't matter man let's get it going i'm doing this raffle every single week if you want a chance to go ahead and pick my brain for 30 minutes no charge drop the comment get that money all right drop like literally verbatim get that money just leave that comment right here on this video all right, now put it into a random comment selector and the winner will get a chance to talk with me for 30 minutes and we can go over whatever. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So you can see what I'm working with here. I mean, it's not a huge project. It's not a huge kitchen. It's gonna be something you know fairly straightforward. Now, how I was taught to paint kitchen cabinets, okay, you wanna remove the actual cabinet from the frame. All right, and you wanna take the hardware off of the cabinet doors this is the first step in this process and you can see this is what i'm doing here now once all of the cabinets have been removed it took about maybe 20 minutes or so we got them all neatly laid out neatly organized you know and this is very important you cannot skip this step if you do skip this step you're at risk of putting the cabinets back incorrectly and this is just an amateur mistake and one that you do not want to make you can see right there i had the little diagram and i have all the hardware uh, in bags that are numbered so we know exactly where everything goes and how it should go all the cabinets are off got them neatly laid out the diagrams in place i know where everything goes now we can start working on the cabinets the first step is to go ahead and sand everything down now i got this little hand sander with a vacuum on it and i'm using 220 grit sandpaper which is pretty much as fine as you want to go there was not a lot to sand on here it was kind of just like hey let me sand these for you because you know, you, you want them sanded and I mean, it, it does kind of clean up the finish a little bit. So it helps just to smooth it out, get rid of any imperfections that may exist, and it helps the paint adhere a little bit better. Now you can see right here on the back of the board, there's a lot of you know chips, uh, stuff that the sander couldn't get off. The homeowner actually painted these cabinets by themselves. So, you know, there's a lot of little imperfections, but that's nothing that we can't fix up. I just take the little paint scraper to it, get it cleaned up and it's good to go next thing to do you bring your cabinets outside really if you're going to spray them bring them outside you know i didn't want to spray in the garage obviously because of overspray i, I don't want to paint the garage we're painting the cabinets right now normally i would say that that truck in the background is a little bit too close to comfort but that's my truck it's already dirty and i want to go give it a wash right after this so i wasn't too worried about the overspray i use this little wagner hand sprayer that i picked up from Lowe's of like 99 bucks or 150 bucks and I've used this tool before actually to paint that wall that you see right behind you. We did quite a bit of work at this property. We did the deck, we did the uh, brick wall in the background, and we also did that retaining wall. You can kind of see it right there where the mulch is. We built a brick retaining wall around his steps there. This tool worked really well for me in the past, and I decided to go ahead and give it a shot with spraying these cabinets. You can control it a lot better, and you're not really worried about you know, excessive application. So I sprayed the back, waited a day, came back and sprayed the front. One coat on the back, two on the front. The customer didn't even really ask for the coat on the back, but that's what needed to be done to make this look good so I can get some great pictures. So as you can see here, here's what it looks like with the finished product. Uh, I actually think this is the first coat on the front here. I'm not quite sure. 
to be honest, but regardless, it looks good, it looks renewed, and the customer saw it and he was extremely happy with it. Ooh, and then that happened, dodged a bullet, man. If that thing would have rolled over all of the cabinets, that would have been a mess. So, so I got a little lucky right there. Anyway, the uh, cabinets that are out in the garage, we're letting those dry out for a little bit. I head into the kitchen and start working on the uh, cabinetry. And of course, prep is the most important thing when it comes to painting, guys. So as you see here, I'm just caulking the seams. Uh, I'm sanding down the cabinets and I'm getting everything ready for a fresh coat of paint. Now the customer originally wanted a kind of the natural look. He wanted to bring it back down to regular paint and then stain it. Now for the price that I gave him for this project, that just wasn't gonna happen. I told him, look what I can do. I can find a paint that kind of resembles natural wood. I think this is umber rust or something like that. And we can apply that and it'll kind of give you that result without going through the nasty process of stripping the uh, paint off of the cabinets or where I have to, and I can avoid spending you know, two days getting all of the paint off the cabinets by sanding. So as you can see here, I'm just filling it out here, applying the paint wherever I'm making little mistakes. You always keep that rag close. You can just hit that real quick and it's not a problem in the future. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, guys. It's pretty straightforward. Now, a lot of guys have been asking me about different kind of ad creatives. And I'm going to drop a video on ad creatives later this week where I'm going to kind of go into what you want to do when you're presenting your content to the customer and this right here these time-lapse videos I've been telling people this is kind of the wave of the future especially on the Facebook platform on the Instagram platform a platform that demands attention and this time-lapse video I think is a perfect example of what you want to use and by the time that you guys are seeing this video I'll have ads up and running with this exact piece of content that will be uh, generating more business for myself everything's painted we came back uh, I think a day or two later and put everything back together. Now I brought my main man Christian here, huge help, shout out to him. Uh, he came back, helped me put all this stuff up. If I was trying to do this by myself, it would have been uh, a pain in the butt. So always with reinstallation, get an extra hand, it helps. You can do it by yourself, but again, it helps. And again, you always wanna kinda wait until the stuff is really dry. This stuff was still a tiny bit too wet for my, my taste, but the customer wanted it back up. And, you know, I told him, hey, look, I'm not responsible for anything that, that happens at this point going forward. Remember, the customer is always right, but that doesn't mean that you're responsible for any of the damages that the customer does. You can kind of tell them, hey, look, this is what I recommend. But if they don't want to go with your recommendation, say no problem and do as they say and just let them know that this is the likely result of us skipping an important step in the process. So here it is. This is the finished result, the uh, finished product here, the before and after. They did the cream color on it on the left and then on the after we obviously turned it brown and I didn't show it in the video but I did spray paint these handles black as well as do little touch ups around the uh, hardware in the inside of the cabinetry and I think that really helps it pop that really makes it stick so if you are doing a painting project of your own don't forget the handles there it is that's how this project turned out the before and after this and again guys this is one of many to come you know, things are starting to pick right back on up. This last week, I've been super busy closing deals, meeting customers, and, and just working in the business as I should be and as you should be as well if you are on this path. And again, guys, the purpose of this kind of video is to show you, especially the new or the beginning entrepreneur, that you can do this on your own. You don't need super expensive equipment. You don't need all kind of crazy stuff. There's no large overhead investment. What you need is $30 to put on a Facebook ad and, and some balls and you'll be good to go. Appreciate y'all watching this video, man. Drop a comment if you have any questions and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Join this community of future one percenters and let's help each other get to the top, okay? This is what this channel is about. It's about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are chasing after success on a day-to-day -day basis. And remember to leave the comment, get that money if you wanna have a 30-minute consultation with me free of charge you know I want to get to know you guys I want to get to meet you guys I want to see what businesses that you have your hands in so I can kind of tailor the content on this channel to be more productive for you appreciate you watching take care